Assalamu alaikum. So in previous part of this tutorial, we have generated code automatically using Riverport generator. And we have seen that how it works. And this time we'll still be using Riverport 2.0, but a lot of the stuff we would be doing manually. And over here, you see that this string over here is not reactive. Even though we are able to read about this over here and show it on the screen, but it was not reactive. So we're gonna make this string or any kind of string reactive where it means that on button click it will change and would show it on the screen and definitely we're going to use riverpod 2.0 and notifier provider which is a new feature of riverpod so that's what we are going to use now first thing first to be able to use that one we actually don't need this one but actually we can keep it and we'll see how it works okay so first here we have to going to define a new class you can name it anything so here we'll say class and over here we can say new string label just like this you can name it actually anything it doesn't really matter and then you have to extend something what do you extend so in a riverpoint Riverport 2.0 if you're going to have notifier provider your class should extend a notifier so let's go ahead and do that notifier and then with this you have to mention the type of object that you want your notifier provider to return to us as a state in this case since we are going to deal with string so over here i'm going to write string and that's it and after that we're going to make it a class like this but over here you'll see that we have an error it says that okay we have to override one missing let's go ahead and do that now with this riverport 2.0 and uh, the new version if you create a class and that class extends notifier class this one which is also coming from riverpod then you have to have a build method and you have to override the build method now actually the build method also has a return type and what is this return type this return type depends on this one okay so if you have int over here you will see that it's a returning int it will do it automatically for you so i'm not going to change it but you get the idea now over here i'm going to return a string and i'm going to return the best tag that's just like that okay all right so we'll see we'll create a button and change this uh first letter of this string and that would be reactive okay now with this we are pretty much ready so what we did we created a new class and we extended the notifier class and over here we have given the type what is the type for the type that our build method should return now the build method whatever it returns so we can grab that one later but of course we have to be very specific about the type so the type is string in both cases if you have int here you have to return int now to be able to go ahead and use it we have to return a provider now what are you going to return this time we are going to return notifier provider so let's go ahead and create a variable and we'll just call it new string label it doesn't matter and then here we're going to return notifier provider notifier provider provider and with this you have to mention the class what is our class name our class name is new string label this one and what is it return type the return type is string you also have to mention that one and after that over here you have to one more time mention your class name which is this one string label and then you have to use the new keyword and then you are good to go now so this notifier whatever it gives us this notifier would be exposed through this notifier provider which means that in our ui would be using this one of course this one is represented by notifier provider notifier provider represents notifier right and it's beautiful now let's go ahead and use this new one over here new string label uh, right inside this string label provider which we had early now we're going to restart our app and we'll see that it changes automatically and this is what we see okay so this is our string method sorry this is our method and inside the method we have this string that is returned and we say it because of this notifier provider and this is coming from riverpoint 2.0 and notifier provider is actually supposed to replace notifier provider is supposed to replace change notifier provider state notifier provider and state provider and with this we have less complicated right now because previously we had many providers but anyway now we want it to be reactive and how can you do that of course we need to 
create a button over here. So over here, we have this elevated button and you see that we still have this new string level provider, which is this one. And on this button click, actually we want to be able to toggle it. Okay, now over here, we need to actually grab this provider and how we can grab that one. Actually, we can grab this using this ref.watch and over here, we need to replace the older one, which is this one. And then we'll create or invoke a method. But of course, this method doesn't exist. This method we have to create inside this new string label class over here. So we'll go ahead and create one. Now, this is the new method that we need to create and we did. And over here, what do we do? Because we are inside this notifier, so we can always grab the state object. Now, of course, state object has a string. So string is a list of letters, so we can get the first one. We get the first one, and then we call this Dart function, which is called to uppercase. So what do we do? We get the first one and make it uppercase. And from the second one on, we still keep the lowercase, and that's how it works. So all we need to do, we need to call this one. Now, how do you call it? Actually, we call it inside this elevated button. Over here, we grab the provider and then we call the method. Okay, let's restart our app. Okay, so that's what we have now. And if we click on this, you see the letter changes and it became capital. So this is how actually you use Notify Provider from Riverpoint 2.0 and make your app reactive. So if you liked it, don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. Thank you.